What's going on YouTube? It's North Carolina Shooter. Uh, got a, a few new purchases I've made in the past couple weeks. Um, haven't put up a video in a while. Been real busy. Still taking my BLET law enforcement training. Full time job that is, just a training. Uh, we're getting a couple 10, 12, 14 hour days in here and there, so taking up a lot of my time. But I hit a few gun shows and uh, I've always wanted one of these. I'm not a big revolver guy. But I'm slowly starting to see the, uh, the, the need and the use for revolvers. Um, you see this is a Ruger SP-101 357 Magnum. This is the, uh, the little snub-nosed variant. I'm not sure the barrel length. I don't know all the details. I'm not a number guy. Does it shoot? Yes. It shoots 357 Magnum. Yes, and a 38 special. That's all I need to know. Uh, beautiful, beautiful little revolver. And it is unloaded, guys. Five shot. I'm sure uh, if you're watching this, you know what a Ruger SP-101 is. You've seen it. It's got the original grip, so I don't have the hoe grip on it yet like a lot of guys do. Plan on getting it because that grip is small. You put that big old 357 in there and uh, this bad boy right here. You, it, it leaves nothing to be desired in the recoil department, I will say that. But it's very manageable. The gun is a little heavy. Um, watched a couple of videos on it last night, and I believe if I heard correctly, this gun's 29 ounces. That may be wrong, but it's a heavy gun. But for 357 Magnum, you need that weight. That weight keeps the recoil down. Um, the, gun, the gun's in great shape. Um, I mean, you couldn't ask for it to be in any better shape, in my opinion absolutely beautiful like i say i've never been a revolver guy but i just couldn't say no to this got the built-in uh sights there some people have trouble with that my wife's had a little trouble with it we've shot it a couple times this is going to be my uh beside the bed gun i do have a 40 caliber beside the bed also but the wife needs something a little easier less no worry about jamming she won't have to worry about no tap rack ready, tap rack bang, whatever you want to call it. All she's got to do with this bad boy is pull the trigger. Bang. So yeah, Ruger SP-101. That's one of my purchases. Um, picked up my daughter a little 22 mag rifle. Marlin, nothing special there. But I made me a trade. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I had a Taurus PT-247 G2, one of the new... Uh, semi-automatic pistols from Taurus and uh, I run across a little little deal the other day from a guy and I am carrying this gun so it is loaded but did a little trade with him think I got it a good deal I traded my Taurus PT 24-7 and 50 rounds of target ammo which I've got a couple thousand rounds of this uh, stocked up at the house so giving the man 50 rounds really didn't uh, didn't hurt me too bad I give him 50 rounds of full metal jacket and my Taurus 24-7 for this XD40 Springfield. I love this handgun. Love it. The minute I got it home, I stippled the grip. These guns are, are known for not having much of a grip surface. So I got out the old wood burner. A lot of guys use soldering irons. I got out the old wood burner and stippled the grip. First time I ever done it. Never attempted it before. I didn't practice. I took the wood burner. I figured it didn't couldn't take... Too much of a genius to uh put some divots into plastic so i just went to town i don't think i did too bad i'm sure somebody out there is gonna say man that looks like crap tell me what you think though guys there's my stipple job a little close up there xd40 there's plenty of videos out there showing this gun what it's about what it does this is an older one but it's in good shape you see there's a loaded uh mag indicator loaded chamber indicator is up say so i do keep them loaded i'm carrying it on my walmart blackhawk paddle holster that i use when i'm out when i'm out in the yard plinking around i like to use that but i stippled the grip and uh i love it i think i got a good deal tell me what you think tars 24 7 for a xd40 all i had to throw in extra was 50 rounds and yes, I got the, the case that came with it. I got the magazine holder that comes with the XDs, the uh, holster that comes with the XDs. Everything that comes with it in the box, I got with this. Everything came with my Taurus uh, 
this man got so pretty much an even trade other than the 50 rounds of ammo which i don't have a lot in because i I try to buy my ammo in bulk but i'm gonna get out here and do a little bit of shooting with this thing see what it does get a little shooting on film i may even shoot the sp 101 and uh see what we can do with it ring a little bit of steel so uh let me get everything set up give me a few minutes and uh we'll sling some lead all right guys we got the ruger sp 101 i'm gonna start out with some 38 special loads in it nothing too hot and uh get you a little side angle i'm gonna take a few shots with this bad boy maybe you can uh hear some steel ringing hopefully if i can hit it you ain't gonna uh, drive no tax with this revolver i can tell you that much but what it's made for which is up close and personal this thing's perfect to get the job done but you know out here i'm at about 15 yards right now that's uh that, that's that's pushing it for me that's on the verge of me not being able to hit much else with this but i'm sure with some practice i'll be ready to go see if we can't get some some side angle here 38 special There we go. Broke my target. Man, that is a sweet shooting handgun right there. Love that thing. Let me stick in some uh, 357s. Show the difference in recoil. I'm just shooting some old, uh, some old mag tech. Nothing special. Picked them up at the gun show. They were about the cheapest thing I could find. Try to get some cheaper stuff out here just uh, shooting in the yard. 357 Magnum. See what I can do with this. Check out the difference in recoil now. <laughs> Woo! That's a cannon! load it back up I didn't shoot but three well, I'll tell you what let me try some double action here I'm gonna have to pull the trigger three times all right here we go that's definitely a little different a double action pull is pretty hard I don't like that Yeah, I'm not used to that double action. I jerked hard on that. You got to bring it way back on that gun to get it to shoot. That's a sweet shooting handgun right there. It bored in 357s. They ain't no joke. Coming out of this bad boy, that little short barrel, you know when you shoot a 357. You know when you shoot that big boy. Let me load her back up again, and we'll take a few more shots with it. All right, guys, I'm gonna load up this revolver again. Shoot a little bit more 38 special. I'm I'm loving this Ruger. I'm loving this pistol. You get some good uh, 38 special plus P, some PDX one, some hollow points. This thing right here will get the job done. Definitely not a one-handed shooter. This is, uh, other than my little 22, this is the only revolver I own. It's only about the 10th time I've shot it. <clears throat> Having to change my grip and everything is throwing me off. But I'm learning. Take a little bit more time, I'll be ready to go. All right, let's pull out the XD. See if I can't get you a little, little first person going on here. P 
pick which target I'm gonna shoot. I'll go for this one here, and I'm aiming through the lens, through the uh, lens here. So if I don't hit it, I got a good excuse. Man, them some pretty sights. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's change over here to a different one. Let's try to hit my little my little small plate there. It's not gonna zoom. There we go. It can be done through the lens, but it is difficult. See me jerk? I jerked hard on that one. I'm having to extend way out to get in front of this camera. Okay, I have to aim a little low on some of them back, them further targets. That's at about 25 yards, 30 yards. They are not holding that slide back and I do not understand why, but we will figure that out. That's the XD40. That's my attempt at a some first person shooting but there you have it a couple of my new purchases got another one coming up you'll see that coming soon all right i'm gonna step out here with the xd and uh take a few shots where you can uh, see the gun i want to see where this thing's kicking brass anyway i got an idea where it's kicking it but i want to see what it looks like coming out the uh chamber so i'm gonna uh step up here and See if I can't ring some steel. XD40. That's my baby. I mean, I'm, I'm really liking this gun. That must be a bad magazine. I need to mark that thing so I'll know which one it is. I ain't wanting to hold the slide back. Man, those targets at the back back there is hard to hit. Now neither one of them's holding the slide back. That's weird. You see it, no editing, that's live action right there. Neither one of my magazines held the slide back. They hold it back now. That's weird. If you got an idea what, what could be causing that, they hold the gun back when they're empty. But when it's recoiling, they're not wanting to hold that slide back. You got any ideas let me know that's the xd40 guys i appreciate y'all uh taking a few minutes to watch my shenanigans uh that's my ruger sp 101 357 magnum 
and my Taurus XD40. I'm going to, uh, I got another gun I picked up. That's going to be for another video. A Remington 700 SPS Tactical. 20 inch barrel. Beautiful rifle. Um, got something special planned for it if I can ever get around to it. Ruger SP-101. Beautiful, beautiful handgun. It's a little dirty. There you see it. 357 mag. That's it, guys. Tell me what you think about my trade on that XD. Taurus 24-7 G2. And 50 rounds of ammo for a Springfield XD40. And everything that came with it. I'm probably going to play around a little bit longer. Looks like I got some work to do. I got to fix a few of my targets. That 357 ain't no joke. And uh, I reckon we'll see y'all guys on the next one. Appreciate you watching.